I'm raised in the jungle, keep that light on hold me. I hustle just to get it, fella, run up on me. You better mind your business and I put that on me. Engraved in my city, you know, fit it, I bleed. I'm a nigga with an attitude, and I'm a act of fool. Slide through my hood to gather up my troops. Ten thousand mini lexus where they find your shoes. And I don't love a bitch because the moles ain't true. Then I get up on Lexington with that bullshit. St. Paul, M N cell beside is the bullshit. Shout out to the fall town generals that I fuck with. Banging in your speaker. You feeling this twin city shit? I'm gonna get the paper and flip it into a higher bid for more collateral that I'm charging up on a bitch. I don't break bread with a nigga send fire to the bridge. I'ma throw my bait with a shark. The only way I fish, my only motive is to get it high. Living to invest it in myself and not a stinking ass bitch. Wait, that ain't what magic down brown would have did. I specialize in the game is by the real pitch. Right? I'm raising the jungle, keep that light on me. I hustle just to get it, better run up on me. You better mind your bitch. And I put that on me Engraved in my city And no bit that I bleed I'm a nigga with an attitude And I'm a act of fool Slide through my hood Together up in my troops Ten thousand mini Lexus Where they find you Yeah, hey, what up, though? What up, what up? Twin cities on the map from St. Paul to Murder. See on the building, hit that so like button. Fuck it down when it comes to that. Just to get attention that we need it, we gon' build it back. We got ammunition for police to think we won't react. It's cold outside of Port and Rays where the snow is at. I'll put a ski mask over my face before a COVID mask. And look a piggy in the eye before I blow his ass. They never thought the making of a beast will be the aftermath. I got a bad bitch that got two eyes behind my back. And she gon' press the nail, she keep the hammer in the Louis bag. I'm detrimental to these niggas trying to hold me back. I'm standing under. The pavement real stiff in my Seattle ash. I'm raised in the jungle, keep that lighter on me. I hustle just to get it, fella, run up on me. You better mind your business and I'll put that on me. Engraved in my city, it's a bit of high beat. I'm a nigga with an attitude and I'm a act of fool. Slide through my hood together, rub my shoes. Ten thousand mini lexus where they find your shoes. And I don't love a bitch. Just one second, King. I just got you in the background. Because they ain't really living up to who they put away. They got no vision. Cause they got no open eyes to see investing in the business to elevate they hustle off the street been doing this a real minnesota veteran making it thunder i'm your neighborhood's brother man got something happy to make you niggas understand the pressure from the pump got me walking around with a bruised hand don't wear no cake because i'm the real black superman and i don't save nothing but faces in a rubber band the only way you're gonna survive in the devil's land he tried to extend me his arm but i don't shake hands i'm raised in the jungle keep that light on me i hustle just to get it Son, where'd you find this? Ha ha ha! I bet you wonder. I bet you wonder where I found that. Hey yo, what up, though? Welcome to the man. I've been doing so many shows, my mind went blank right there. But what up, though? Welcome to Catch This Vibe Radio. You chilling with your boy Biggie? That's right. We're here with an exclusive interview today with Saviti himself. I'm gonna pull him up here in a minute, but I just want to make sure you guys get a realization of who and what we talking about right now that was his latest video called um twin city shit featuring uh scrap nino as you can see he is a i want to say this correctly now he is a saint paul representative as you can see in the first bar of the song man and I love it. Minnesota stand up. We here to get you. I, I even wore all my Minnesota stuff today just for him. I'm a Detroit player myself, but I wore all my Minnesota stuff for him. Shout out to Laces. Uh, Laces and Man. Check them out on uh, Facebook and IG. If you want any of your latest dead stock uh, 
kicks and shoes, uh, along with hoodies and apparel, laces, MN on IG is where you can find them. And obviously just the Minnesota hat. But this is a Minnesota show today, man. And I'm excited to bring him up to have a conversation with my guy, Saviti. Uh, I seen that uh, he did a video. So the video, Twin City shit, is shot by my homie, Anthony D. So that's the network. That's kind of how we're we're intertwined. I was going to let him know that uh, as soon as we got on the show. But uh, one thing is I saw the video and then I seen him as I added it. Uh, he He's like, I'm going on tour for the most part. Not necessarily a tour, but he was like, my press tour, my press run is ready. Who got a podcast? Who wants some interviews? I'm ready to talk. So I hit him. I'm like, bang. Come on, man. Let's get it going. So this is uh one thing I love is this is like this is like the first interview back, man. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna bring him up here in a second, and uh, we're gonna get to chopping it up with him. So he has a couple few uh tracks that are out on all platforms. So please make sure that you go ahead and download, look them up, add them to all your accounts. Saviti, not a hard word to spell. S A V I T T Y. And then that way you can find his latest uh, his latest track out called Twin City Shit featuring Scrap Nino. Let's go ahead and bring him up. You're... Yo, yo, yo. What up, though? What's up, man? How you doing, King? I can't. Can you see me? I, I can't see you. Ah, I can see you. Yeah, yeah, we're good, man. I'm boom. You're right there, right in front of everybody. Yeah, you blank on your end, uh. Gotcha. No, we're all live, man. We're I see me, I see you. They see us. It's a good, it's a good I don't know why you don't see me though. Oh, need to know. Yeah. You know, what's going on, man? Nah, man, we're we're great out here, man. Uh my my slogan is slow motion is better than no motion, and all motion is good motion. You feel me? Right. You know, but um so so I mean I mean it's good though. I just can't see what I'm talking to. It's just kind of I wonder if you turn your 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 phone sideways or not because I mean we're we're all in one screen here so uh, yeah, yeah your screen is black man uh, it's, it's all good it's just kind of like I'm talking to a ghost <laughs> oh, there you go there you go there, there you go, go. let me see that hat man I wanted to see the hat oh there you go there it is yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go I had probably what's had going on it. man not we, much, we, man. We represent that part. I had to. I had to, since, especially since uh, when I when I first reached out to you, you spoke of being uh, one of the the um, almost quote unquote gatekeepers for Minnesota uh, as when it comes to the rap game. Uh, you've yeah. been in it for a hot minute, and uh, mm-hmm. I'm glad to be able to have this opportunity to not only uh, have this interview but learn who you are, man. I've I've lived here for quite a bit, and I'll be honest with you. Honest with you. As I dive deeper into uh, the Minnesota music and uh, culture, and uh, I, I tend to find a whole bunch of new people, and you're one of them. So I'm, I'm glad that I, I stumbled upon you. This song here is really good. And then also your other songs that I was able to find on other platforms are good as well. One thing I can appreciate for you is that you know how to switch up your styles, and that's one thing that you, you pride yourself on. Tell us about that. Okay, can you hear me okay? Because I just put the headphones on. And ain't you no echo or nothing. No echo, okay. you're all good. Yeah, man, I just, well, I, thank you, first of all. I appreciate you having me on the show. You know, my, well, as an artist, man, I just wanted to give all of me, show all my artistry, you know, as an artist, show all that I could do from different angles, different lanes. Because coming up, you, you know, coming from the streets, I, there was only one way to rap there was only one way that we knew how to rap you know expressing our expressing our pain you know having a voice for the streets and just i i, I uh it, it went from expect expressing my pain to seeing the things i grew up grew up seeing in the hood and just rap it didn't the raps was negative and just expressing what we saw only yeah, uh, yeah. only hood only hood shit. but then as I grew, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I'm pretty dope at this. You know, I'm taking this serious now. Let me see if I am I really an artist. Let me test myself. Let me see if I can switch a lane, you know. And it's funny you brought that up because just recently, 
you know, and, and it's out there. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. They could find it on there. I want to. I always want to see if I could rap East Coast because, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I put myself to the test with that. I see and that. I, I see that. When I when I killed that, I'm like, you, you know. So it's just stuff like that. I want to see. Let me step out my comfort zone. Let me switch the lanes. Let me see. Am I really an artist? And I think I proved that. So that's where that came from. Well, let me ask you this question. I. I, I just from your demeanor right now, are you born and raised Minnesota? Like, are you Minneapolis, South, uh, St. Paul? No, yeah, yeah. I'm, through uh, and through? yeah, I'm originally, uh, I'm born and raised here. You know, I'm originally St. Uh, Mount Air Projects, grew up on Selby side. That's that's home for me. And uh, I had some years, 10 years over north, two, three years over south, but you know. Selby side is at that's my home at the end of the day, beginning and end of the day. And uh, but but you know, a lot of my, my music may sound west coast, a lot, a lot of people want to know why that is because you know, my family, you know, Say and less. being affiliated with Rolling 60s, you know, we ain't banging no more, we OGs with this, but I'm, I'm from 60s and you know, 60s crip. And my family, man, you know, growing up there, that was my upbringing, hanging around them. And sure they, they came, got breeded by some of the original factors that they brought him. That's why they're here in the first place, because my family brought them here, big U and them. And so that's that's what that's about right there. Gotcha. And I love so, low riders, man. I, I love low riders. <laughs> all right. So so it's not a common theme for people to be like, man, you so you you really West Coast what you feel like the how you your aura, how you come off. No, yeah, yeah, you know they always ask, and you know, uh, see for the for the for the most part, a lot of people didn't know that Minnesota is similar. You know, it's always been similar to the West Coast of California. Um, we minus all the beautiful trees and just, uh, minus, <laughs> my, you know, <laughs> I hear you. I hear minus, you. Minus all of that shit, but yes, yeah, just my family, man, being born into it. You know, I come from. You know, the Nick fam, Nixon's, you know, the family, family full of sisters, Crips, and that part. some of the original factors just out there in LA. And, you know, so when you don't know nothing else, you just don't know shit else. I hear you. And you know what? That that's the part that I'm excited to see that you you were able to change that culture a bit. You you push yourself outside those limits to say, all right, let me do something a little more different and speak about something a little different. Before we hop mm-hmm. into that, I want to I want to get this. Is Savitty a, a, a name like a made up name or is that birth given? No, Savitty is my can hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Savitty is my spirit name. You know, um, it means survival tribe. Uh, that's T R I B E. Some some people think I'm saying survive or try, but no, survival tribe, and you know, uh, easy to live, hard to survive. And it's my spirit name, man. And uh, it was given on to me by none other than the Lord. You know, now far as sure. I don't really go, I don't really go too deep into how you know or why. And, you know, uh, I don't go too deep into that. Sure. But yes, yeah, it's, my, it's my spirit name. And, you know, I just wear it high on my chest. It is. I can respect mm-hmm. that 100%. Well, Nonetheless, it is a very catchy name. It's something that most people won't like forget after seeing it a few times. You know what I mean? So, right, right, definitely right. Uh, uh, something that uh, catches on. So, we have this new song that's out, Twin City mm-hmm. shit. What, what inspired us to put out Twin City shit now? Well, what's, what's well, bringing you to stake your claim? Well, uh, for one. For one, it's a Twin City motherfucking thing. You see that there? You see that there, right? <laughs> for, for, you know, for that. And then, you you know, that's just the way I wanted to, you know, put my city on the map, put put my Minnesota on the map more than in a positive, inspiring way uh, other yeah. than the George the George Floyd thing. You know, it's already it on it's on the it's on the map now. But in a, in a negative way, we don't, I want to put it on a emerge with the George Floyd on a positive thing. Like there's somebody that there's art here, you know, there's mm-hmm. talent here. And, you know, we always, cause we're like the land of the unknown. People don't even know where we at. People say the yeah. name Minneapolis and they say the name all <laughs> wrong and shit. So Thanks. 
So, you know, and I'm sure everybody with talent, you know, tried to, you know, come out and let it be known. And we all trying it, you know, and I, that's definitely something I want to run with, you know, and I'm, a, you know, for the next songs coming, the next videos, there's always going to be something, somebody maybe wearing a jersey or representing True. Minnesota in all my work, you know, letting them know that, like, we here. That part. So let me ask you this question, uh, more than one, right? It, the, the the conversation has been that Minnesota has not have like an emerging artist. They don't tend to help each other when it comes to indie artists. Uh, there's just a whole like vacant in the, in the rap game or even the, the music game here in Minnesota, although it's very cultured here in music. Like people just don't understand how cultured Minnesota is to music. Right. How do you combat those kind of uh, negative conversations? Because you out here working, man. Like, this is your craft. This is your, right. your your thing, man. This is this thing that's been called to you. How do you combat mm -hmm. that besides putting out this beautiful art? Well, just, it's not enough support here. You know, it's not the reason. To be honest, it's just not. You know, I know a lot of states got they, you know, the haters or their issues with people supporting it. Like they say, black people don't support each other. And guess what? They absolutely right. And but a lot of different states, like all down south, the difference is, is, you know, they do. They got their issues, too, but they support each other. Like down south, you know, in the worst ghettos and the most poverty places where they doing just, just the same amount of bullshit is any other hood but what separates them between us is they do support each other they bring their right. whole they bring their whole entourage on stage and just put them on and that's what's been holding minnesota back and gotcha. me, me along with every other artist know that we, right. we don't support each other here at all shit he said, it's a tough one, man. How do you plan, <laughs> if if you do, how would you want that to change? What What is it that you want to see change in that perspective? What I want, I want, to, I want us to just see, I can write, I could sit here, man, and I could really write out a whole plan of this shit, sure, but sure. it has to be just more than me who's down with the team. You know what I'm saying? Just in these, Absolutely. It's, it starts off with one mind mm -hmm. because not everybody wakes up. Not everybody wakes up. It just abracadabra on the count of three. We're all thinking alike. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is the, it, yeah, starts, yeah. it starts off with one mind, man. And it takes that one person. Like all these creations was one person's idea that the, 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 to build the microphone, to yeah, build, yeah. to make coffee. Didn't 10 people or two people, a twin brother or twin sister, didn't just say, hey, did you have the same dream I had? <laughs> Is It just it starts off with one motherfucking mind, bro. And then if you can reach two, three, four people that, that all think alike, mm -hmm. you know, network with the next team. Network with the next team. And, and that's how you would do it. And, and that's okay. what I would like to see happen. But... It ain't gonna happen. No, no, oh, no, no, no. I, 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 I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> he said, it's, "Got you. It's hard. It don't work. <laughs> it, it, man. That's what I would like to see happen. But it, it's hard as a motherfucker. Well, here's the thing. Here's what I see for you. Right. This is what as as a new uh, fan, because I, I do enjoy your music. As a new and that's gonna you know get you to the next help you get to the next level as far as in reaching new people i.e this platform uh how how are you planning to grow your your following like what are you doing not only not only a fan base but a new team a network that's going to help you collaborate with more people work with other people that are in different organizations but not only, you know, connect you, just get you out into that next scene. What are, what are we doing there? Okay, well, I, I, just one second. I'm glad yeah. you asked that. This is, this is important. I'm about to grab something for you real quick.
All right. So, so you know, and, and you know, I'm I'm one to not hold back information, and that's what I was talking about about to collab and networking and sharing sharing information. I I probably left that part out, but sharing sure. information. So what this is is this is a QR code. You know, mm -hmm. can you see it in my? Yeah, and what right this does is. I get closed with this. You know, I get it on pins, as you see. I hand out flyers. I, I, I mail these boxes from different states, post them on walls. And what this does is if you scan this, it'll open up whatever I'm promoting. You know, sure. it, it'll, it'll help. That That's what's that's my number one networker right now, only because I don't have the team that want to really you know, like I said, all that shit that you got to find with different people yeah. and make them think like this is if you don't have that until you get that, this is all you need right here. Because this, code. yeah, this is for my followers. You know, I, I had, you know, somebody was, for example, somebody was like, oh, I just saw your video and uh, I followed you, man. And that shit dope. And I always ask, like, like, uh, how'd you see it? And they, you know what they said? They, they's like, man, I scanned it at the bus stop and, and I saw other people scanning it too because my ass was out there, parked my whip. I jumped on the train. I I, I went sticking them motherfuckers on everywhere. That part, yeah. You know, I was hanging up my QR code, bro. So that basically got me most of my followers and networking in that way. So You, you know what gotta, is awesome about that and i'm glad that you picked that up is i was speaking to anthony darst uh he's the one that did your last video oh, okay and yeah anthony. he yeah, just yeah. sent me a christmas <laughs> that's it he uh he actually has high praises for you man he's he, he loves your work he loves your dedication he loves how hard you are how hard you go into pain you know what i'm saying for what you do right and he was like, that mm -hmm. is probably one of the one things that i can solely say was the smartest thing that i've seen an artist do him speaking about you uh, is ha handing out QR codes to any and everybody that you pass, that you talk to, you're handing out flyers right, and you're doing everything to get your <coughs> name out there. One thing I saw on your Facebook, um, or maybe it was your IG, either way, make sure you guys follow him. It's uh, basically just type in his name, Saviti, and you'll be able to find all of his, uh, his network. But um, I saw that you were doing a post where you walked into an apartment building and you were sliding them under the uh, the the yeah. doors for everybody. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Let me give you a round of applause for that. Thank you. Give myself right. that's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. And you know what? Real quick, that, that's interesting because, you know, and there's risk with some of it. You know, some people, if you, you try not to violate too, too much, like, mailboxes and certain shit yeah yeah but you know with that apartment uh, place thing i seen the home girl shout out to lavina i seen the home girl and she she was like cuz i she was like nigga i got one of you you slipped one under my door nigga yeah. like i was like how to and see i didn't even know she lived there that i didn't even know she lived there but she's like i got it nigga i was on the couch I, you slipped it under my door i got one of those and and i i just liked it to hear that because is 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 grind time and uh right. you know it's all you gotta do so real quick man you know that qr code i don't mind sharing information for y'all that's starting for it but it comes a lot with it you can't just get it you gotta go post that motherfucker up yeah. you gotta hand them out uh yeah. there's so many people that saw me like man i saw your code i scanned it, it. And I don't care how cold it is really outside, you know, as uh, long as you got a warm car, you ain't going to let yourself freeze and go frost bit. That part. Man, you got to put in the footwork, man. I, you I'm do. doing that. And here's the work. Here's the best part <laughs> about it for all you guys that are listening and that all of you that are out there. Uh, the Twin City, Twin City shit, the, the video that has mm. 3.2 thousand views. And it's only been out since November 5th. Four weeks. So, right. Four weeks. You're looking at four weeks, right? So mm -hmm. all organic views, because we can see by the QR code, we can see by him pushing mm -hmm. it on social media as well as us playing it on different platforms. So the work is work is definitely being done. It's not easy. Go ahead. 
I'm glad you clarified that too, man, because you, you know you got your haters always saying some shit. Nick, you know, a couple people like, oh, you you buying your views because it ain't matching up with the likes. You know, you know, a lot of people don't hit the like button. I have no control over them hitting the like button, you know. But no, nah, man, I ain't buy them views. Them views is there. <laughs> I'm just glad you said that because, you know, they they, because the views is high as hell. Then the lights ain't. So, you know, they you know, you got your people saying little shit. But, you know, I know who out there freezing in the cold getting it. That part. Shout out to to Neil. That's a a partner of mine. We we do a show together called Peachy Tea Time News. She says, Mm -hmm. can you please show me, Saviti? Laugh out loud. So serious. And what she mean is, is show her how to get the 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 three point two K views in in (laughs) in. You know, it's the hard work, he said. He said Who's that? Who's that? Uh, that was Tanil. She's a, a a partner of mine. Uh, we do a show together on her network called Peachy Tea Time. Uh, you got to check uh, us out over there. Tomorrow we go live and do Peachy Tea Time. Shout moves. out to Tanil, man. Shout out to yeah, Tanil. Shout out. And I'll definitely tell you, baby girl, uh, you do that by freezing your damn ass off when it's too cold to go. <laughs> You know, uh, you do that by getting harassed in the mall by security that don't that that part, be seeing yeah. you, seeing you doing shit. You ain't selling. Hey, I feel like if I ain't selling drugs or doing nothing illegal, you know, that's considered loitering or whatever they say. Man, they look, do, yeah, yeah. I'm all, I'm all for that. Right. I'm all for that. Saviti, what's keeping you locked in? What's keeping you locked in the music? Uh, as we hear, there's trials and tribulations to this game. There's ups and downs. There's there's not the growth some to think that they would mm-hmm. get. How long have you been in the game? Man, if I tell you that, you might know that I'm 60. No, I'm <laughs> no, no, no. No, hey, ain't no shame in my game, man. I've been rapping for, and, and you know, I want to say I'm 41 because I, I, I'm, I'm getting to a solid point behind this. I've been rapping for, well, since I was seven, started rhyming. So what, seven you know, that's old. about, yeah. you know, since seven, so about 30 something years or whatever. And uh, I've been, I've been in for a long time, but a lot of people, you know, they ask me like, like everybody I see or been seeing in the past through my whole life, every time they see me like, like, I thought you'd have been like, how come you ain't been, did it or been out there, been on TV, how come you ain't been, blah, blah, and this and that. Well, you know, I've been, in and out of jail you know my whole fucking life and i was you know dealing with a a lot of traumatized situations so i wasn't really able to do it so now you know now my head's in a better space you know and and overall it's god's timing because i matured mentally and it's just the overall answer is god's timing but you know i i kind of know what was to break it down more in and out of jail and wasn't really focused and so now i'm pressing the gas 100 percent. and so with that being said don't ever you know let nobody put an expiration date on on your passion because you know i hear it all like are you too old are you still rapping are you too old you still rap yes i am and i'm the one lifting the streets up too and i'm getting paid so i was about to ask that question do you think do you think your your little past uh the benchmark to begin in the game do you think your content is going to be a little too old for who's out here or do you think you're going to be able to reach a market man i love the questions you asked man you because <laughs> i because i've been i almost want to write them down like ask me that because you're asking everything yeah. that i want to explain to people and no nah, man you know because there's always uh a, a style of just because you left that that era, sure. There's people still. There's still people. Your fan base is that era. Amen. So amen, just, amen. you know, if my music ain't for the younger era or the new era, or just jumps around and all that, whatever they be. Yeah, you know, shout out to dancing. them. Shout out to them. Shout out to yeah. them. Shout out to them. If they getting out the ghetto with that, do it. But if my era ain't for them, then guess what? It's for somebody. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you always got an era for somebody. And it's working, you know. So yeah, man, don't ever let nobody discourage and say you your time has passed for this because there's always somebody that's gonna like what you do. 
You know, if sure. I stop rapping and just become a crazy tap dancer wearing funny hats, get, guess what? Somebody, a lot Somebody of people gonna like that shit. Yeah, they, they gonna be like, Saviti crazy. That nigga smoking. Look what he start doing. But then the other half <laughs> gonna be like, Have you heard of this Saviti tap dancer that wears clown hats? I fuck with that. Yep. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah, man, y'all just they gotta stop with the excuses for the, that they're putting in there, trying to get somebody else that really belong to them. Right. So stop the book. Historically speaking. So, you know, people of the older generation, I'm not even saying that you far, far in age. I'm 37, so you're not too far from me. And I right. get your music. So I get what you're saying is like, you know, I, I like I have my goats, right? I have my goats. And mm. if they don't put on music, I have to stay listening to their old stuff, you know, and which is right. not a problem. But I can I get excited if I see a Sai so a Prince come out with a brand new song or even Jay-Z, Rick Raw, all these guys that I, <laughs> I find to be my goats they put out a, a track i'm excited to hear from it because you know i've been down memory lane already so right with that let me ask this question for you because it seems like your camp is a little small and it's okay if it is and you're growing to get to, to get the camp bigger but do you find that there's a learning by, curve talking about i'm sorry what you mean by camp like like fan base or uh no the people that that help you get your name out like your your uh marketing crew or your manager, your producer, oh. like all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, it's very small because it's only me. <laughs> that's like, like, I didn't I mean, really want to say that's that. Why, that's why I wanted to. Uh, no, that's okay. I want you to say that. There you that's go. why I asked, like, who you talking about? Because no, no, it's only me. And sure you not. know what? I, I I I say that so proud. You know what I'm saying? I say that proud, bro. That's because only Saviti did that. And, okay. and you see how far, you know, so, yeah. So where I was getting at with that, uh, and, and, and historically speaking, people that are the older age find it hard to um, conform to technology. Do you find yourself having, you know, bumps and bruises through getting your, <laughs> your, your information hey. shared to people, though? Yeah. Like, although you, you're like, because here's the thing. Your method is hands on. It's very... Is very CD like, but what you did was you added new technology by doing a QR code. Congrats to you! Like, like that's dope. Right? <laughs> it's like it's like you got it out of the trunk, but I'm not giving you an actual CD anymore. I'm giving you something you can scan and still take with you. But there's still so much more technology that needs to be touched on. You know, sharing your videos, having it link in the bio. You know, automatically mm-hmm. getting shipped to people. Like, how are you? Uh, um, touching those type of things, or are you? Well, well, that's good. Glad you asked that too. Uh, I suck at it, bro, and it, it did leave me with my my daughter was the one in Little Beans. Everybody in Little Beans, she got more fans than I do. You know, she's uh, and she started off my, she made my YouTube channel. Like she showed me how to do all that. Let and, everybody but, know here how old is Beans. Man, Beans is eight. You know, Beans is eight. <laughs> your, your marketing manager is an eight year old. Right. That's what you're telling me. Right? <laughs> hey, hey, can we get can we get a clap for Beans, man? Shout out to Beans, man. What, Shout out to Beans, man. Yeah. So no, you know, but besides that, you know, besides that, it was hilarious. She helped me with my YouTube channel, but I do have an assistant for that. You know, I have my cousin for that. Shout out, I mean, my nephew. Shout out to my nephew Zion. You know, he's he's the wiz he's the wizard, but I have that, but with the platforms and all that just to help me out when I get lost, cause you know, yeah, I was one of the ones that kind of got left behind with, you know, uh just as far as all of that. That's a whole man, that's a whole new world. You see when you sent me this, I, I was like Exactly. You right when you hey, sent the message saying, Bro, I'm well, lost, uh, I'm like, I already get it. I get it. Right, but yeah, so we all need help in that area. All right. So let me uh let's go here with it. You talked about being in jail. Uh you went in. Obviously, life is what life was. You're in the new space now. Um, are you planning to in these because I want to start talking about your newer projects? Are you planning on like diving deep into those type of things and, and kind of being more transparent with uh yourself with your with your fan base? Let's talk about that. Like what like what's what, what's like going to come up? Well, yeah, you know, I'm writing a book on my life story. I'm I'm actually halfway through it. I'm writing that. 
a lot of people don't really know all this. You know, I'm going to do all, you know, I'm going to definitely let them know all this, man. I'm writing a book that soon one day will be a movie. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm more than confident on that. It's already, already a plan and already together set for that. So, yep. And then just, you know, I do a lot of motivational speaking. You know, I speak at schools and I got to speak at a school like next week. Shout out to the homegirl, Lexis. She's a teacher. And so I give back and tell my story to the kids. And I've been in the papers and I won awards through the state. I, I got a, I got a real good, I got a real, I just no one, no one really just know. I got a real deep resume, a nice resume when it comes to the footwork in the community that I've done. And uh, yeah, man, I, I'm on the board now of a nonprofit organization for the youth, young black men by the name okay. of Ujama Place. Ujama Place. Ujama. I know. Okay. I know when the ears hear that. You know, a lot of people watching, they they probably know all all about Ujama Place. But I'm on the board of that, and that that list right right there, man. That list goes on and on, and it just it it's about like has to do with what you said. You know, um, just leaning forward to that. Sharing what I can give, my insight right. of my my experiences, and yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna release to the public some personal things that that, that I just hope it inspire people. I love it, man. Uh, Tanil said you're doing your thing, Miss PG. She said you're doing your thing. Uh let's go here. Yeah. Shout out to her. That is amazing. I love it. I love the direction that you're going in, especially being a part of the community. Uh, you, you can find a lot of people that don't end up doing that and they talk about it, try to be the whole, I'm going to get the crab out the barrel move. But the fact that you're doing right, it, right. you're in these schools and you're, right. and you're touching the youth, I think ever more so is that you have an eight year old. So you know how important it is because your children, your child, I don't know if you have multiple, but your child is the future, man. She's the one that's going to represent you. When you're when you're done and gone, you know what I'm saying. So it's 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 a blessing that you're trying to impact so many, uh, at this place in time and where you are. Music, what's next in music? We got the we we push in Twin City shit. We we move in that. What's in case next? Y'all want to tune in real quick. All right, I wish I could. Here, I'll do this. All right, take in case the watchers wanna know, you know they because if they're able to, if they're able to zoom in, they could hit this. You they know, can they do can that. Hit this. They Perfect. can hit that from the screen. So what's the next in music, bro? Yes, sir. Man, uh, you know, like I said, man, don't no, let nobody put an expiration date on your uh, time, man. And I, I feel like, you know, I'm in my 40s. I'm 41, but I feel like I'm just getting started. So to answer your question, everything's next in music, man. You know, I got so many, so many, many projects to put out, uh, but what's, what's really coming up like as of now this next the next thing i'm gonna do is you know like r kelly had that r kelly's trapped in the closet series yes, you sir. know yes sir well i got this this shit called no trust the no trust series so it's, it's mm. gonna be like it's gonna be continuous series you know no trust series where you know the video the, the videos i do is ending with to be continues and it's gonna okay. go on and on and i'm gonna have premieres for it because I have video release premieres for all my videos where fans and community come out. They support me. It's a, like a mini celebration. I dropped a projector screen. It's it's like it's dope in there too. So that's where they're gonna be coming to get the the no trust premieres. Okay. So that's 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 like literally next on the radar, and um, we just gonna keep everything else going. What what I, made you jump into the title no trust, or and having it be a series? Well, because, you know, really, you know, it's like we all deal with, we all struggle, I would say, with no trust, especially, uh, you know, my black people, man. And, you know, it's just a way of, it's the way of being safe for us. But at the same time, that's not how it's supposed to be. Like, it hurts us to be like that. So telling a story about it, you know, it just enlightens, it just helps you, like, Okay, is this how I want to keep being? Because I mean, we I'm gonna be bouncing all over the place with these series. You know, I gotta I'm I'm gonna get some directors. I'm gonna get all that to help me out because I'm not a movie director, but I I do have a good 
creative mind where I know how to play it out. So, you know, these series, man, is going to really, is going to help you, you know, figure out, damn, is this, I I experienced that before. Do I want to keep living like that or how can I change this? It's going to be so much scandalous shit going on in them, you know, pull pull up your popcorn, man. Pull up your popcorn. (laughs) But, you know, it's just the no trust is everyday life that black, you know, black people suffer from. We suffer from that, you know, more than any other culture. We don't trust shit. You know, and speaking of that real quick, I walked up to a couple, I walked up to a couple sisters, man, at at the Mall of America. And I'm like, I'm like, I tried to show them this QR code and they and have them scan it. (laughs) And they was like, they they was like, uh, what 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 so you can get my credit? She's like, I don't think so. Like, is this gonna take my credit from me? Are you gonna scam me with this? Don't have to come looking for you. I was just cracking up, man, you know, because they were serious as hell. (laughs) Very much so, brother. I mean, think about it. There's so many different types of scammers and scam and and people that just want to do you wrong, especially around Christmas time here. You know, Mm -hmm. all the little extra money people do have and trying to, and you know, move around and do. But here's my thing. What are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on us as a culture not being so open enough to trust you know our companion our our friend our you know just a regular old person that's trying to you know help like like, because here's the the reason why i ask that question is because you're so hands-on with your product you're yeah you're not you're not you know just you know sending it out via emails and that way you're hands-on with yeah i deal with man how does that how does that impact you you know, it's 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 fun a lot, but it, it's it's interesting, man. I run into, I talk to so man, I, it's ridiculous. I deal with people, my nigga. Like right. I, I run into so many different people, people that don't trust, and and I just feel like it's a. I get it for the most part. What makes it cool? What makes it? Uh, I can settle with. I can understand it and deal with it is because I get it. Mm-hmm. I get that, you know, people, we got to be cautious as hell because for one in this evil ass world and, and what is coming to on top of what we've been through as a black culture anyway. Yeah. So yeah. I, I get that. But no matter how much I understand it, it, it still hurts. Like it really hurts deep inside. Like, damn, like I can't even we can't even uh, like we're fucked up. Like we're damaged. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're damaged yeah. like that. So it's either like, so at the end of the day, and I know a lot of people, they don't like hearing this. And, you know, even when I was coming up, because I'm not like a super Christian or, I don't, you know, I don't know. I ain't with all, no religion or nothing. Sure. I do believe in, I believe in a higher power. You know, I know there's a God and all that for a fact. But, you know, at the, so at the, with that being said, at the end of the day, I just say, if you can't trust man you know you know trust god you know trust yeah, yeah, yeah just trust him so if you do something you know like if you a girl was scared to scan the qr code that i was out getting people's credit in the mall i would just say like i thought that was sad in a way but i, I understood it but i thought it was sad so i would just leave it up to her to just trust trust god like if, if you do it just are you gonna believe that I jacked you, or you know? <laughs> but that's not where we are with that, man. You you only get what you believe, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So I that's think true. it's that, right? Well, Saviti, man, I I 100 believe that uh, your music, is, especially this song, can make it to a timeless point because of how it's played and and the sound of it. Now, um, question uh, I do have that I pose to most, if not everybody. What is the one thing you'd be really disappointed if you never get to experience? What's one thing you'd be really disappointed about if you never got to experience it? <laughs> um, like disappointed or, or like like sad, hurt, or yeah, sad, just, hurt, let down. Just like man, I really was like I never get to experience spot on one of Belize or something like that. Oh no! If I don't get the experience, j- just seeing seeing my daughter live, you know, live happy with what I'm able to provide her with, you know, you know, it's not about yeah, just what I'm able to provide her with. 
You know, I love the way you explain that. Love the way you said that. Whatever, what, what you're able to provide yeah. her with, making if sure she. Yeah, if I'm with. not able to, not even just her. If I'm not able to leave anybody with, like the, the youth, you know, the young youth, because you know it's about capturing their minds, you know, capturing the young, young youth mind. If I'm not able to leave a legacy of like what I've done or some wisdom behind or even some money, if I'm not able to leave nothing behind that can help them grow further i'll be more than disappointed about that i'll be crushed you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying i hear that i hear that so that's well, it man hey Saviti, i got one song left for you to play and then we just have a couple questions and then we'll be concluding this here this one uh you just put out october 22nd by the way that is my birthday so oh, uh, yeah. i'm happy that you it's dropped something. for you man happy birthday that part exactly <laughs> Uh, this one is called "Who Are Who Are We Really," featuring Oh No favorite. Gosh, right? Can, can I can I before you play it, or, yes, or you want to ask me what it meant after you played it? Uh, let's do you, it after. You can ask. Me. Okay, cool. Because that's that's one of my. I didn't know you was gonna play that one. They need to understand that one. But yeah, oh. that's one of my favorite. How about this? Let's switch it up then. Let's go ahead and talk to them about it before they hear it. Let them know what it's about before we jump into it. Okay. Uh, well. Who are we really? Is because I'm gonna do a video for that too. It's basically, you know, it's like we wear a mask every day. Like whether you want to admit it or not, whether it's it's a it's it's a good mask or a bad for a good reason or a bad reason. Like we, every time you leave out your door, you know, in the morning, if you go to a job interview, you put on a mask. If, you know, if you go to court, you know, you put on a mask. If you want to be a thug or want to be in the hood or you put on a mask, if you want to be anything you're not at home when you're around your kids and your family, you know, you're putting on a mask. So it leaves you with who who are we really like? And I'm not mm-hmm. talking about who are we spiritually. I wouldn't disrespect nobody and say you don't know who you are spiritually, but physically, you know, living in this fucked up world, like who are we? And mm. not saying it's a bad thing to put on a mask when you go to court. You better, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to go into court and just act crazy. <laughs> so, or 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 a job interview, even when you talk on the phone, like certain business calls, why do we have to change our voice? Like, like yeah, okay. <laughs> like, oh, okay. It's even me, I did it. For that I, hour. Yeah, I hear you. I did it recently, man. Like, you know, <laughs> call, call myself talking. Why this hell when, like, like okay, sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> We say proper. Right, sure. We say proper. <laughs> so, so, oh, proper, proper. You good? I don't know. Uh, you you, you want to bleep that out? You can bleep that out. You good? You good? But, uh, <laughs> but who are we really like? And not saying that was a bad thing. Even for the good, you have to yes, put sir. on a mask. You have yes, to be sir. someone else. So that's basically what that song means. Like, who who are we really, man? You know. Just like when a female go in, they they take off that bra and they get that that whole yeah. release, you know. <laughs> I I heard about that. They love that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like when we take I off socks, it. when we come from the gym, taking off socks as men and just kick back. That you know, it's like be out there with the toes like this. When you like, go oh, home yeah. and you take that mask off, that's, that's how you feel too. Like, man, I've been fronting with these people all day. Whew, it's time to be me. Man. You know, t- my, your kids know who you is, but every time, so that's the whole point of it. Every single time you step out that door, whether it's to go down the hall to knock at the neighbor's house, mm-hmm. depending on who you think they are, you're going to be someone else to them too. Yeah, 100%. Well, let's go ahead and hop into this one, man. It's Who Are We Really? This is his uh, single before the uh twin city shit let's go ahead and hop into it this Featuring is the homie oh no gosh oh no gosh the homie from nigeria yep this is ctv radio let's go you're mm-hmm. Uncover the massive, we don't know who we are. The life that we live so strong. Got me cool on my knees. How can we live in 
inside this world with no peace and love. So I know about the cool black heart. We find him to survive for this heart. How can we uncover the mask and face reality? If we can hide then our fire stuff through the tragedy. Starving on your knees while you looking up to your master seat. Hoping that he feeds you the opportunities you can eat. And that's the setup that he provides for us on the street. No one we gon' all act the fool until we wreck all the leaves. Until I make the whole pie and give us all a piece. And I'ma hustle deep in these streets until my daughter eats. And I'ma hit as a bell, call it the archery. That's the evil spirit in hell that's married to the beast. Before I wake, I pray the Lord to take me in my sleep. Before I live with What up, though? See you, Anthony. See you in the building. No curriculum from clemency, just in the DNA. Anthony Dark, what's up, man? So you behind the skies, behind the skies. How can we uncover the massive with the new who we are? The life that we live on. Got me on the knees in the dark. How can we live inside this world with no peace and love? So I never had a problem about a cold black heart. If I live to survive, but it's hard. Who are we really to the people that we all know hate us? Are we just an illusion that mental minds made up? Are we really the thugs that resemble Darth Vader? Or are we the first or the last reason to create I told them I'll pay them back when I get my weight up. Shout out to the marathon gritters getting the cake up. I used to walk the streets with my head down till my music made a sound telling me to pick my face up. Watch for them crooked snakes, they slither in your blind side. Cause they don't care about jeopardizing their own life. Knowing that they live in the light and they can't sleep at night. Fighting the odds and the proof to get exposed. Both in the light, sticking together for unity, stronger than the beast. Should need police in the streets just to develop peace. Baby, they strengthen their knees, reason we can't breathe. Your spirit dark with no light, reason you can't reason see. You can't see. Can we uncover the mass if we don't know who we are? The life that we live so strong. Got me calling on my knees in the dark. How can we live inside this world with no peace and love? So I live by the cool black heart. We find him to survive, but it's hard. Yes, thank sir. You, thank you, thank you, yes, thank sir. You. Even though I don't, even though I don't know where y'all at, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all in my she house. Did. What are y'all in my house now? <laughs> so better get up out my house right now. Hey, Savitty, <laughs> man, I I appreciate your tone, man. I love your sound for sure. How did we find Oh No Gosh? Like, how did you find <clears> someone <throat> from Nigeria to be on the track? Well, oh no, gosh, or oh, he gonna love to hear this, man. Hopefully, he ain't pick, listen about it though. He'll bust in and have a seat. He, his his energy is everything, man. Uh, I've been knowing him for you know, I met him through his lady a long time ago. We was all having like a community gathering, uh, some people networking, you know, for the youth. And you know, I've been I've been doing that for a while, involved with that. And his lady was an activist and and all that. So we was all at this barbecue and that's when I met him. And and when I first, when I heard his voice, cause he got that Nigerian, that, that accent, you know, them, them Nigerians accents, man. So thick, and so thick, yeah. and it was so strong and it was powerful. Like, you know, and I know, man, I'm a kingly man myself. It's just, my spirit was just like, I was talking to him and I, I, I was like, I thought he was trying to put extras on it. Cause you know, sometimes they, put extras like the Jamaicans and they because uh Jama- Jamaicans can actually speak normal like but they put the, that broken English on it so right. I heard him talking I, I was like is that how you really talk man I was like is that your he's like yeah man what you uh you know saying this shit and I said I need you on a song I was like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> he didn't even know what, I didn't give a fuck about nothing else we I was just like I need you on a song and so- I connected with him and we was talking about this for years. Like this, when I'm when we decided to do a song was like eight, man, probably eight years ago, man. He was like, wow. man, we just now. Yeah, I had that song planned for eight years, eight years ago. Is he a, is he an actual artist as well? He is. He is. Okay. You know, he is. And uh just like at the beginning of the song when he was speaking his language, he was right. talking about God is light and saying all that, you know, a lot of powerful stuff. 
and he's an actual artist himself. You guys can find him, Oh No Gosh, on Instagram and TikTok. Oh No is O O N O. And sorry, man, if I forgot, man. You, you okay, know, you're so, spelling it right. You know, Oh No Gosh, yep, G O S H. So y'all can follow him there. Sweetie. But you know, we made it happen, man. He was he was perfect for the song. And when I heard how powerful his voice was hitting on that. Cause he didn't even have need no rehearsal on. Okay. He just said it. His voice was. He just said the shit. Dude, went in. Hey, it's one Excuse take. Me. One take. Charlie, right there. One take. Oh no. He said, "I make no mistakes." That's mm-hmm. why his name is. Oh no. Oh no. Gosh. He was like, "Nope." Right. Man, oh, oh, oh no. No no no. You like? <laughs> oh no no. <laughs> fuck up. Oh no no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Hey, you know what? Oh no. Gosh no. no oh gosh, gosh no. no. Oh gosh no. <laughs> I wonder uh, is that why his name that his name, right? was, was his parents was like, oh no gosh, <laughs> you done broke the vase again. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Civitti, uh let me let's go here with it. Dream collaboration, whether in the city. No, let's do both. Who and what is your dream collaboration? City, first off, whoever is in the city, and then celebrity, like you know, big and beyond. Well, as 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 weird as this may sound to say, but but my brother is my dream collaboration. Uh, my little brother Louis Blaze. And the reason yeah. I say it's weird to say is is because you know that's my motherfucking brother. We we should have been did a song together. You know, the whole, right. The whole, like the whole city is is waiting for that. They're looking forward to it. And our times just keep keep crashing. Like 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 they they're not adding up we don't have the same time you know Mm -hmm, the times mm -hmm. he's available i'm not then we we both bullshitted for years and on top of that on top of me going to jail and we never got to it but we're actually getting to it now so that's that's funny you said that so y'all could be expecting savidi savidi and louis blaze shout out to louis blaze man shout out to louis blaze And, and let me tell you real quick real quick just to just to brush his seat off, but you know, polish his gold up. He, he, man, the, the words can't even come out my mouth. Y'all know, y'all know who he is, who he plays. He's, he's crazy. You gotta get him on your show. I will, I that, will. Hey, that boy, that happen. boy could spit. He could spit, spit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. You say oh, bars, and, uh, man. It ain't even car bars with him. Jeez. But uh, you know, he's he's real mean. So then. Someone big, man, who's already out there doing their shit, you know. Uh, well, since Nipsey and you know, Pac and all them ain't here, you know, rest in peace to them because you know, them is my above all. But I would say I'm, I'm wrestling between the two of, of Meek Mill and Rick Ross because Ooh. Meek Mill got the best uh-huh. word. I mean, uh, Rick Ross got the best wordplay, I mean, delivery and wordplay, man. It's just it's stupid. ridiculous. My favorite. That's why he's and one then, of my favorite. Yep. And then McMill is he's he's bonkers. Like if I could use that bonkers, like he's yep. super. He's super the energy crazy. Is, man. The energy is what what draws mm-hmm. me into Meek Mill and and the storytelling. I mm-hmm. I forever will be a big be a big fan of Tony Story. That's my favorite track. Like if I like, yeah yeah pick a song and want to chill out and want to hear some bars and a good story time. Is either that or Rewind by mm-hmm. uh, Nas or even The Game, because The Game redid right. Rewind as well. Right. But Tony Story, Rewind, those are my favorite storytelling yeah. tracks. Mm-hmm. So, shout out to them. Yeah. You know, yep. They, they doing well, this Well, man. Savitti, this is your moment to shine, my brother. Tell them where they can find all of you, where you're at, what you're doing, how can they be a part of the 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 tribe, the clan, the gang, gang, all that stuff, man. Let them know. Well, you know, you be a part of the tribe by uh, finding yourself spiritually fresh. I'm gonna just, just set that one. I gotta Thank set you, that one. Thank you, sir. Right yes. in your mama face. You know what I'm saying? We just I'm gonna sorry. set that one right there. <laughs> so then, uh, uh, other than that, man, just. Uh, you can find uh, Twin City shit in the uh, Who Are We Really is out on all store platforms, every single one of them, even Shazam. If you hear it out there in the jukebox, you can snatch it out there, Shazam. You are and, showing uh, your age throughout this whole interview, dog. 
Uh, Emma? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's this in the jukeboxes, bro? <laughs> uh, no, not, you, you know, not, not that. You know what the hell I mean. Them, them damn touch things in the box. I, I, but, uh, again, who's listening to, Where are you going? You eating wings and drinking any of the touch box, bro? <laughs> hey, but no, nah, man. Right, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. Me. I'm sorry. It, you can find me everywhere, man. <laughs> Uh, YouTube, <laughs> all platforms, Apple Music, every Spotify, just every, whatever you listen to, I'm on there. That part. And then my my Instagram is Seven Survival Seven. That's Seven Survival Seven Instagram. Um, and my TikTok is Survival. You see, I ain't really popping on there, man. I don't forgot. I always forget the TikTok name. Uh, Gotta get the TikTok going, bro. You right, right. I do. That's a good avenue, man. <laughs> And the only what reason up, being is because it, it allows you to get in front of people that you mm -hmm. normally wouldn't. All the other ones are just your friends, and sometimes you can get to other, other, yeah. elsewhere. Yeah, but TikTok exactly. specifically. Man, it's ahead. a main avenue, man, and it's survival tribe, uh, whatever. But then, um, you know, my my YouTube channel is Survival Tribe Seven Seven. So don't forget that Survival Tribe Seven Seven. You know. And, and for all you honeys, man, my phone number is now. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me on the Google hey, ass. Hey, Snapchat my, me. My, my phone number is don't call me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, man, this uh, has I'll, been I'll a blessing. It. It's been a chair, uh, a great time to sit here and chat with my guy, Saviti. Again, you can find him on all platforms. This song right here. It's called Twin City Shit. It is streaming live on all platforms. Make sure you go ahead and follow. This is CTV Radio. We appreciate you 100% for hanging out and kicking it with us. Now, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to be your absolute best because being in power starts today. We live life, we love unconditionally, and we seek growth. When we do all three of those, we're in our alpha state. So stay primal and get after it. And always, always remember, protect your peace and drink water. That part. I switch just to get it, better run up holy. You better mind your business.